I was raised in an apartment house with survivors from Auschwitz. And I always knew it would come here because it always goes everywhere. And uh, it's a virus. And, you know, I, I see people in the streets repeating Nazi slogans that they don't even know come from the Nazis. Yeah, I've seen it my whole life. And I do think Trump is the anti-Hitler, even though Hillary says he's the Hitler Hitler. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that one is amazing, isn't it? How they use the reversal and the mirror image. Yes. As they lock up, as they use the judicial system to persecute their opponent legally, and they make up these fake attorney general uh, lawsuits that don't even have a victim, like Letitia James, yes, who's seen as a civil rights worker or something, abuse the law to that point and uh, allow no jury I mean, it's just so terrifying to me as a Jewish American. And, and that that's allowed and that the press honks it up. You know, they just honk it up, crank it up. We got to keep this going. We got a lot of people to divide and get hating on each other, which is why I came back to television. I didn't want them to do this because I know where it leads. What starts with the Jews doesn't end with the Jews. The Jews are just the convenient canary in the coal mine, you know, because every no, you know, a lot of people don't like us, and you know, there's a lot of reasons they don't. When you got names like Epstein, Weinstein, Blinken, people that are like, you know, yelling, people that are like on the side of against the American taxpayer, for God's sake, Soros, Kissinger, I I can name a ton of them. And uh, like I say in my act, just because a very sizable portion of our people are horrible fucking people, please don't hold us all to that. <laughs> but, um, but you know, it, it's embarrassing. And then they're the ones calling me an anti-Semite. But they didn't stick up for me when I said the Iran deal was an existential threat to Israel in so many words in the capture captioning of a meme during a three-month conversation about the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt, Iran, and the United States. Nobody Jewish stuck up for me because I'm a Nazi, because I like Trump. And why do I like Trump? Because Trump understands the Jewish people, and we owe a deep debt of gratitude to him for that. And that is why myself and my mother, who's a lifelong Democrat, unbelievably also loves Trump. Really? That's a minor miracle right there, buddy. Yeah, because she finally saw what the Iran deal is really about. And so she can't vote Democrat ever again at age 90. What is, pardon my ignorance. I mean, I watched this happen. I knew some of the people involved in it, but I never really understood what the Iran deal is about. Well, it's about what just happened in Israel on October 7th. That's what it's about, in shorthand. They unleashed a... Remember in the movie Planet of the Apes? Yes. Where they went after all the human beings who could read? They didn't even think they could talk, but they feared they might be able to talk. So all those militarized... Uh, beings, like in Star Wars, came and beat down and locked those people in cages, the human beings, in the movie Planet of the Apes, which was written by Rod Serling and was actually a movie about Nazi Germany and the Jews. So that was the reference I used in my tweet. But, you know, you, you kind of have to have a, a sort of a, a certain historical vantage point to understand that I was saying that, which they lack in Hollywood. Yes. Because all, all they are is, we want a woman. We want a woman. We want this skin tone.
because they're fetishists, care nothing for our republic, our way of life, our constitutional republic, which people have laid their lives down for for decades. I've seen it for seven decades. People have laid their lives down for that. And then they go about talking what's American, and it makes me sick when they say Demo save our democracy. Well, democracy isn't burning down cities, okay? No. Uh, democracy, and uh, forget that word, because that means mob rule, but um, the heart of America, we keep being denied to see the real Americans, the, the heroes of America. And I, I see them, though, because everywhere I go, I see them. Those are the people that those nurses say, those nurses and doctors that, you know, refused to go along. Those brave people in our armed forces who were kicked out because they, they understood that no government, least of all this one, has the right to force uh, untested drugs on a captive population because that's nothing but fascism, fascism and Hitlerism and Nazism and Stalinism all mixed together. Because you know, this is exactly what Hitler would be like if he had computers. That's what we're living in. Yeah. And now we got artificial intelligence where they're going to recreate people's lives using artificial intelligence for their movies. So nobody's even going to have a right to their own life story. They'll steal everybody's life story. It's so horrible. And uh, it's like, I feel like it's 99% sewed up, you know. I don't know if this is the end of the world. It looks like it to me. Like have you I, asked God about that? Well, like I told my son, I don't really give a damn because I'll die my way out of it. <laughs> but y'all have to deal with it. But here's the good news, that this is what I want to say, and I know you care. Um, in the Torah, it says that the 99% of this world is just uh, physical. And it's that 1% that matters. So I think that 1% is the one they can't factor in because they don't know what it is. They don't got it but we do, and that's the 1% that is where all wars are decided and won and lost. That's God. So I just invite people to pray with me and pray themselves in their own words, not by rote, not by prayers they've already heard, but in their own words that we, because I know we do have the power of spirit together to make this all stop and change it. I know we can do it. I just wish other people would know that too. Uh, I did it in my life uh, from a real low point. Let myself, gave, gave myself permission to believe. I guess that's it. Gave myself permission to connect and believe and walk in to do what I believe, to, to walk in my, I don't know what you call it, just to say what, to live what I say I believe, to actually believe it and then live it. It's pretty amazing and it's transformative. Hey, it's Tucker Carlson. The internet is crowded with interesting things that don't really matter. On TCN, we attempt to bring you interesting things that actually do matter, and a lot of them interviews, long form and short, videos, documentaries. You can find all of it on TuckerCarlson.com, and we hope you will.